Hi everybody, Judy Parcell here again. I got a great idea. Um, this is not an original idea with me. I actually saw it demonstrated this morning on YouTube. Everything's on YouTube. Find all your answers on Google. You know all about that. Um, anyway, this lady took a piece of glass, which I have a whole package of glass that somebody gave me, and she took all kinds, you know, picked out her palette of alcohol inks, and I picked these out, and then I just dotted the color all over the glass, and sprayed it a little bit with 70% alcohol, and I took a piece of deli paper and put it on the top. And then I pressed like this and till it soaked up all of the um, ink. Now one side of the deli paper is kind of shiny and the other side is more porous. But I found that it didn't matter what side you used, you just press it down. The other thing she didn't talk about but I tried it was I went back in once this was over here and I sprayed it because there's alcohol on this, I sprayed the whole plate again with alcohol and just to pick up some more color in the paper and to saturate it. And I wasn't afraid to just put my hands on it like this and let the paper soak it up off the glass. Then if I want, I can come in and put a little blue here. yellow here little green this is not what she demonstrated but this is something I'm going to show you why is that not standing up I have no idea so I'm put a little green there a little green there a little green there little green in here, little green over here, and then spray it with a little more alcohol and then I want to uh, kind of dab this around careful not to mix your colors Then we'll just take this up and we'll set it aside to dry. And you'll notice that that has a lot of ink left on it. Now I'm going to take another piece of jelly paper, place it on top. To just suck this up. This is a lot like printmaking, only I think I like this better. Now everybody's brain works a different way when it comes to art. And the jelly plate, some people are whizzes at it. And I just have a lot of difficulty with it. Um, I'll spray this again. See if I can pull it through all the colors. And 
Now it looks pretty intense, but when you pull it up, it's kind of faint. But that's okay. That has its purpose. Let that dry. Now, when you get done with all that and it's dried, you come in with a pen and you pull out whatever images you see on the deli paper. And so I did something with, I found flowers in it, that's always easy for me. And might take and put a, um, put this down here. Come on, come on, come on, Let's start, yes. I'm just kind of filling it in. Anyway, I did that, and here's a beautiful, um, I guess it's a chameleon. I'll put the little cup. And then, I'll, and then maybe another leaf here, even though you don't see the green. I'm going to do a couple things more than what she did. All right. So that's, I've got all those flowers in there. Very nice. And I took my alcohol ink pens, these subtle colors that I picked out, and I want to pull out like some more green. So I use the blunt side and I just brush it, just brush it like it's supposed to be there. And then down here, might want to brush that a little bit. This is cheating, but it works. And so that stands out from the flower. I want that in there too. Okay. Here's one. You can see that one. Just keep it about the same tone as the rest of the colors. And it wouldn't do too much of that. Uh, let's see. I think I'll pick an orange. Pick an orange and put that right there. There. Just a little bit. Just to perk it up a little bit. Okay. Put a little bit in here. That's enough. I don't want it to be too obvious what I'm doing here. Here's some more. There. Alrighty. Now that is absolutely beautiful. And when you get done, You kind of tear it out of the rest of it, the part you want. Now, I'm making a 5 by 7 card with this. So tear it out and make all the edges really rough. And this is the end result. And you take a glue stick. Um, let me show you. This kind of a glue stick. These are the best because they don't make the paper warp. And you really rub it on the back side of this, you know, and then you fold it over and you put it right on the card. That's a five by seven card. And I took and I put it here and I left it and I left that all kind of rough because it adds a certain quality to it. And then I wrapped it around to the back side instead of putting a logo on there, I just signed it. So we know this is a handmade card. 
Anyway, I wanted to share that idea with you. Uh, try it out. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.